In this video, we're going to be talking about making your first Amazon listing and exactly how to do it. So if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I teach you guys exactly how to start selling on Amazon, how to grow your Amazon business, how to get ranked on that first page and much more. So if you're new to selling on Amazon or want to make online money, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So selling on Amazon is a great long-term business if you do it correctly. In this video, I'm just going to show you really quickly how to make your Amazon listing and some troubleshooting issues that you might have, especially with uh, Seller Central selling on Amazon for your first time. Definitely intimidating. I remember my first year selling on Amazon. Looking at this was just very confusing. So I'm going to walk you through a few steps and pretty much some things that you might also run into some issues. So the first thing you wanna do is make an Amazon Seller Central account. So you're gonna to go to sellercentral.amazon.com. You can just Google it really quick here. Seller Central here. And you're gonna click here and you're gonna sign up. So after you sign up for Amazon and you do like an orientation, I know in the past they used to do that. They like you do a call with them and they guide you through the whole process of like what you want to start doing you're gonna have this platform in front of you like this on your laptop so this is a seller central platform and this shows you the uh, the sales you've done as of today um, the total balance for the payout and if you want to make an Amazon listing you're gonna click these three tabs here and you're gonna to go to inventory and manage all inventory so most likely if you're selling a new product on Amazon and you're creating a listing, you're probably launching your first product on Amazon. So what you need to do to make your first product on Amazon is you're gonna need a UPC code. And definitely a lot of like information out there, especially on YouTube where they recommend the GS1 and barcodes and all this. I'll make it super simple for you guys because it's not that complicated. So you're gonna to click to manage all inventory here. And here will be all of your inventory. You're most likely not gonna have any inventory here. It's probably gonna be blank. And let's say you're launching your first product that you wanna start selling on Amazon. So you're gonna click add a product here. And then you're gonna click, I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. You're gonna click that right here. So you're gonna, a category I really recommend you to put a category so when it comes to this category um, and you don't know what category your yours falls under what I personally would do is go on to on Amazon go to something that's similar to your product uh, maybe your competition or something very similar to it for example let's use this listing here uh, eyelash extension glue I'm just gonna scroll down here and basically you'll see what category they fall under they fall under um, false eyelash adhesive. You can just copy this and paste it on the category and it will take you to that exact category. You can do this pretty much with all of your competition and get that exact category that you're looking for. That way sometimes you, know, you, you get a little confused of which category you should fall under. So for this example, let's click this. Now that we're on here, there's, there's this little tab here, uh, attributes. They have required, relevant, and all. Let's click all attributes. And you can see all of the information here. So for product ID, you're gonna put a UPC code for this. Um, there are some times where Amazon's asking you for GS1 barcodes. And especially if you're starting off, you're not gonna wanna do a GS1 barcode. It's recommended, but let's be real, like if we're starting to sell on Amazon, we don't have that much money. So a GS1 barcode goes for around, I believe 200 to $300 for a barcode. And most Amazon sellers don't use this. They use UPC codes from websites. And I'm gonna show you one website that is very common. It's called Nationwide Barcode. So you can click here, 
or Amazon. So you're gonna buy a UPC code on nationwide barcode. Just click one of these. It's usually around a dollar on average. So once you buy this, it's gonna send you um, an email of UPC numbers and it's gonna be like digits similar to this. So you can see the price here. For one barcode, $12. Five barcodes, four bucks, 10 barcodes. It's really cheap um, and they have discount codes as well for this. So you can probably find the discount code at, I believe, 20% off. Sometimes they're 50%. Get a UPC code to make your Amazon listing. So after you purchase the UPC code from Nationwide Barcode, they're gonna email you the UPC code. And with this UPC code, you're gonna input it onto the listing. That's gonna be what's gonna make your listing. This is not the barcode you're gonna be using when selling on Amazon. Amazon's actually gonna give you their own barcode. And this barcode is actually called an FNSKU. This is the barcode Amazon uses, especially with their platform. The FNSKU is organized for you. So let's say if somebody's trying to sell the exact same product as you, with this exact barcode, it's your batch of products. So it's a lot easier to identify, especially if there's issues with inventory or if somebody's selling counterfeit products, the FNSKU is something that Amazon gives you after we make this listing. So let's say we bought that UPC code from Nationwide Barcode. Now you're gonna input that really quick here and you're gonna click UPC. And then for product name and brand name, you're gonna write your product name. This can always be edited later on. So I tend to always like to put like a very generic name for it. And then the brand name is gonna be the company name of yours. So for the product name, let's say we're selling Lash Glue by Lash Pro, right? For brand name, we're gonna put Lash Pro. So we have Lash Pro here. Sometimes you're gonna get an error message for the brand name or the product name and Amazon's gonna ask you for um, identification of that product to verify if you're a real seller or not. So especially when you're starting up, they're probably gonna ask you, they want a picture of Lash Glue by Lash Pro. They want a physical picture, that way, you know, they know that you're a real seller. Sometimes, like right now, it's not asking me for that information, but if you get a little error message, that's gonna be the issue for that. It's 50-50, I would say, but that's something that can be like resolved within, I believe, 12 hours, 24 hours, and one day you can get that resolved. So that's just a little issue that you might run into in the future. And you're gonna just continue here click continue and click required there might be some more oh you can see here that uh, a 5665 error for lash pro request approval so this is where you would need to do your request so if you're doing a new brand you only have to do this one time only too so you would just click here and get approval for your brand Lash Pro and to verify that it's actually a real product. So you would click here and you would put in your, your inventory, your stuff, and you just have to send them a picture of your product. It's very simple, very easy to do. Put it under the category, just check mark all these and then send a picture of the product and you should be good to go and that error should go away and after that, you should be able to make that listing right away pretty easy. So you don't need to have any professional pictures on this, anything like that. After you have all this said and done, then you can actually get your barcode from Amazon. And what you would do with this FNSKU, the Amazon barcode, is send it to your supplier. I personally like to get those barcodes added onto my products, printed onto the products, or printed onto the packaging. That way it saves money and time. I'm actually gonna show you guys that a little bit now. So let's say we finished this um, listing here and this brand approval got approved. All you have to do is click and save. So after you make your listing and you have your product here, you're gonna have 
it here like this. And if you want to get that FNSKU Amazon barcode, you can just go here and print item labels. Click that. I do print one label here, press OK. You're going to get a PDF file and it's going to be this barcode right here. If I wanted to send this FNSKU barcode, I would just screenshot it really quick here. Boom. Just copy and paste this barcode, send it to the supplier, tell them to put it on the box or the packaging or something like that. That way you don't have to pay extra with the barcodes. So hopefully this helps you out with your Amazon listing and creating your Amazon listing and what UPC codes are for, FNSKUs. So just a reminder, the UPC code is usually only used to open your Amazon listing. After that, you don't really need a UPC code after. And then after you use that UPC code one time, it's created your Amazon listing, then Amazon gives you their own barcode. Their own barcode is called the FNSKU. And that's the barcode you're gonna be using for your packages, when selling on Amazon. I know this is a lot of information, especially if you're starting off, but if you take the time and effort, this is gonna be a piece of cake for you. So this is the FNSKU. This is what you would use from now on, no UPC code. Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. If you learned anything about this, hit that subscribe button, follow me for more. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or reach out to me on social media, like my Instagram, and I'll help you out as much as possible. And that's about it, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.